Hi guys, welcome to Fairies Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll be talking about types of... Yes, you got it right. We'll be talking about types of diet. Stay tuned. So, in today's video, we'll be looking at module one of the food nutrition and health syllabus titled diet and health specifically we'll be looking at section one and also to explore the types of diet are you ready let's go learning targets now by the end of this video you should be able to do four things first one define the term diet Two, state three types of diet which contributes to good health and well-being. Three, differentiate among four types of special diet. And four, after learning all about diet, you should be able to discuss the role of diet in maintaining good health and well-being. Okay guys, now let us look at a definition for diet. Now based on your prior knowledge are you able to define the term diet well observe this picture and tell me if you're also able to develop a definition for yourself let me give you some time all right let us see how close you are now the term diet refers to food eaten on a daily basis there are different types of diet such as special diets, example, low-fat diets, and also low-salt diets. Good. Now, we're going to look at the types of diet. But before we dive into the different types, let us look at what are some of the reasons for having some of these diets, right? Let's go. So one, some are for losing weight or gaining weight. So some persons, based on their height, may want to adjust their weight by losing or gaining so that they can have a healthy weight. Hence, they may choose, they may choose to go on a diet. Next per reason for lowering cholesterol. Now, the human body often produces its own cholesterol. But guess what? Based on the types of food that we eat, we also gain cholesterol. So some persons may go on a special diet so that they can lower their cholesterol. Good. And also just for living a long and healthy life. Now, we're going to focus on two types of diet today. Specifically, balanced diet and also a special diet. Now, let us start with a balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is one that provides the correct amount of nutrients for the needs of an individual. Or one might say a balanced diet is one that consists of foods from all the food groups but in their correct proportion. Very important to, to note that you have to consume these foods in their correct proportion so that you can have a balanced diet and here on this side we have an image of the six food groups they are staples legumes food from animals fruits vegetables and also fats and oils now let us look at the special diet a special diet is one that is designed to help individuals make changes in their usual eating habits or food selection. Some diets involve changes in the overall diet, such as diets for people, as we mentioned before, who want to lose or to gain weight, or just for someone who wants to eat more healthfully. Good? Now, let us look at some types of special diets, and these diets contribute to good health and well-being. The first one we're going to look at is reducing diet. As its name suggests, reducing. This diet is designed to help persons 
to lose weight. So you may find out that this diet may consume of a lot of vegetables and fruits and less of fatty foods and sugars and carbs. Good. Now let us move on to a vegetarian diet. Good. A vegetarian. There are different types of vegetarians. We have vegans, which are strict vegetarians. We have pesco vegetarians, which consume fish and vegetables. We have lacto over vegetarians that consume dairy products and eggs along with vegetables. We have lacto vegetarian that only consume dairy products and vegetables. And we also have polo vegetarian. They consume poultry items and vegetables. But now we're looking at a general vegetarian diet. Now a vegetarian diet consists of mostly fruits and vegetables good so fruits and vegetables provides us with a lot of vitamins minerals antioxidants and also is very much high in fiber and keep keeps the body hydrated now a high fiber diet look at the items that are included in a high fiber diet we have bread we have vegetables wheat bread by the way vegetables uh, pastas fruits dried fruits such as raisins apricots potatoes a high fiber diet prevents one from being constipated good so it's it enhances regular bowel movements and also it prevents some types of cancers such as colon cancer and it helps persons to feel fuller for longer good so let us go Another diet which contributes to good health and well-being is a low-fat diet. A low-fat diet meaning one that is that has little or no oils, oils in there or any type of fat, right? So when you're choosing cooking method also, persons may also want to choose ones, the ones such as baking and grilling or even boiling where much, where, where no fat is used to prepare these food Food products good now a low salt diet no a, a diet that is low in sodium helps to prevent the, the, the helps to prevent persons from getting hypertension good while salt is important too much is not is not so good so persons may have to reduce their salt especially those persons who are hypertensive as sodium helps to raise the blood pressure no low sugar diets how can we consume low sugar diets it's not just to say cut out sugar but also very important to cut out sugary foods and also sugary drinks good job now at the end of this video we're at the end and you should be able to de to define the term diet state three types of diet which contributes to good health and well-being differentiate among the four types of special diet and also to discuss the role of diet in maintaining good health and well-being. How about putting these responses in the comment section? Good. And let us see if you are able to answer these questions. Now, finally, an activity. I want you to write an essay with three points on the role of diet in maintaining good health and well-being. So the first paragraph will consist of your introductory pa paragraph, your topic sentence, and the second paragraph will consist of your first point, third, your second point, and the fourth paragraph will have a third point on the role of diet in maintaining good health and well-being. And then you conclude it now with your last paragraph. Thank you for watching. Awesome! You have made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching.